So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is introduction to computer vision with tensorflow so first of all click on start lab and if you are seeing this provisioning lab resources no need to worry about it you need just to wait uh, till the estimated time remaining gets zero and the lab shows credentials so first of all if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing content and videos so now let's wait for a few seconds here you have to open the cloud console incognito window now it's getting signed into automatically sometimes you may be prompted to enter the username and password check the lab for it now here basically we need to agree some terms and conditions and then we will move forward to the next step click on i agree and then click on agree and continue now basically here we have to open the vertex ai workbench so as you can see in the navigation menu here is the vertex AI. Let me show. This is the vertex AI here. And on the notebook section, click on the workbench. Now, here we will be using Jupyter Lab, and the separate workbook has been created for us for doing this lab. So, let's now here open the Jupyter Lab. It will take some more time. Meanwhile, do comment in this video that you have participated in the Google Cloud Arcade or or not, and also which tire you are targeting, like novice, trooper, or champion. So finally, after waiting for two minutes, sometimes even early, also it loads. So now click on the terminal on the Jupiter Lab. Now in the description box of this video, I have shared one GitHub repo. We will be using that. So just copy it from here and just paste on the terminal section. So just paste and it's executing this. So first of all, you need to hit enter as you can see here. Now it will install all the requirement packages and after that we will move forward to the next part. And let's meet again soon. Apart from these, if you are new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing contents. Apart from these, if you haven't participated in the arcade program and want to know about arcade program, you can check the description. So wait for it now finally all files have been loaded in the jupyter notebook so now here first of all you need to open each one so first let's open the model file and here wait for the kernel status to go idle it's currently connecting and it will be idle soon so wait for the kernel status to update so now from here what you need to do is that we have to run all the shells so first of all just click on run and all selected cells and below so if you are unable to see this highlighted portion that is run selected cells and below you have to do just one thing click on this just right to clipboard icon you can see here is play pause button just click on this play button which is in triangular shape so once you are done with that it's running the shell let's wait for the shell to complete and when the kernel status go idle we will move forward to the next step finally after waiting for two to five minutes when the kernel status is now idle now we will hit check my progress and see whether we get full score or not basically we will get full score on this task and if you want you can run the other files also so let me show you how we will execute each and every command so as you can see here we have got the output and now we can easily run this callback function you have to go in sequence first model then callback and then we will run the updated model so just wait for the kernel status to go idle so finally the kernel is now idle now let me show you you are unable to see this run selected shell and below so what you need to do you will do this just run this play button again as you can see it's not showing just select the shell and just click on this play button let me show you how we will do so as you can see here just click on this and it will take some time wait for the kernel status to go idle so it's currently executing all the tasks mentioned on this shell 
like importing TensorFlow datasets, NumPy, TensorFlow and many more things. So you can read it here if you want and let's wait. The best thing is it wait and make sure the video is running otherwise if your laptop goes sleep and you won't be able to get this code. So finally the callback model file has been executed as you can see the kernel status is now idle. Now we will execute the updated model file just click on it if you can check the score you will get the score for some tasks also we will hit check my progress at last also so wait for this kernel to go idle it's idle now now you can see here we got this if you are unable to see the run selected cell and below i shared the way how you can do it previously so you can check it out now here it will take some more time so let's wait finally after waiting to for four to five minutes and we are done with this part also now we have done all the tasks now we'll hit check my progress and see whether we get full score or not first of all let's see whether all tasks have been executed or not and let's see so finally let's hit check my progress and we'll definitely get full score and we are done with the lab